And, and, and next boss, a tunnel vision. And next boss, I have to ask a lot of, a lot of artists come on the platform, but it's mostly men. And I keep yes. on asking them like this question. This question for me is kind of a far generic question for us, all yes. the artists come on. And as a female, definitely want to ask you, what you think about this new crop of artists, male or female? Well, there's not much unity. There's not much unity in the in the music industry anymore. And we don't need to we don't need to have this crab in a barrel kind of attitude. We don't need that because the music is like a big cake. And there's a slice there for each and every one of us. Yeah. All you have to do is put out music. Right now, as far as I can well, you hear the little the feud we are big and a feud we are going past social media right now yeah. with my fellow female artists them which it's not necessary because I believe that you're supposed to use music and music if you use enough and prove yourself enough. Yeah. You know? When when me I come up in a this it was about talent, creativity. You know what I mean? And then now we see where it's gone to stunting and you know, social media with a one day, a backbite the one day, drama and all of them things. I wouldn't need all of that because cool face, we must remember a reggae music, our music in a dance, a reggae music free Mandela from out of prison, you know. That is to show you how powerful our music is. Yeah. Our music is not about uh, say bad things about the one to fight against the one and the one that is the one that no. It the people them with music because it's only music shall live. Yeah. Does it the people can show how to get the ratings that we have fight for them. Just do some music, man. Just do some good music. Mm -hmm. Some good music where you know where you know have the message. In it because even look at even professor nuts as a as one of the the artists them in the business back in the eighties where you used to DJ Pierre Yuma when you listen to professor nuts up here laugh you laugh yeah he had a space he had a he, there was a space for him also yeah in the music business you know what I mean so we as female I mean re, I mean I mean I mean I talk to the music the female them straight up we need to stop this grabbing a barrel thing. And we need to stop this cat fight. We don't need that. We don't need that. We need to unite. We need to put out some good music. Come on, man. I'm so proud of coffee. Look at coffee. I mean, come. Come get the Grammy. Boom. I mean, let us all work towards that. Instead of trying to fight against each other. It no make no sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? We we'll love to see when the next... Grammy thing come another female DJ can step up same way too yeah. and get the uh, Grammy. That make me feel proud. You know what I'm saying? It's a big yes. look for female for the female of artists course, because that Coffee Come make me feel proud. And Ejota, Ejota, uh, uh, the, the, the list of artists that were nominated for the Grammy is an impressive list of nominees. Of course. And she edged of them course. out. So it's good look. So we expect a spice, we expect who else? We expect all this Ascensia. There's yeah. some nice crop of female artists. Talking yeah, about female artists, do you hear? Give me a list of female artists out there where you hear doing songs where you really like, like the, the direction and like the music so far. Well, trust me, me hear a whole heap of female out there where really have some nice song where I really love. Yeah. As as you know, coffee are one of my favorite. Yeah, listen to Shensia. I listen to what. What's the other girl name? <laughs> don't, don't laugh off of me. Um, she, um, King, but some King in her name. Um, oh Jada Kingdom. Jada, Jada Kingdom. Kingdom. Yes. Yeah. She's doing she some nice. nice. She nice. Now nah, you. There's a lot more. There's a lot more female out there doing some. Good job. Trust me. I don't know if you've heard of this girl named um, Shanil Moore or Muir or something like that. I think I saw her on, yeah, on stage. Yeah. yeah. I heard, yeah. I heard yeah. two songs from her, uh, real uplifting yeah. songs. Yeah. And, and, yeah. And, and really the vibes. 
Oh, somebody was asking about like Leela Ike. If you your aunt, Leela yes, Leela, Leela. So much of them, trust me. Janine, all of, all of the new crap, them. Most of the new crap, them. They're going good. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, man. I listen to them, man. So, we're the yeah, crap in So, so we. With the bad vows there, I go and I say, we don't need that. We don't need a scandal or something there with that one there, that and the one. We don't need that. We don't need that. You know what I mean? We just need to focus, you know, and hit the people and with music. You know what I say? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> so, um, the process now, all right. For instance, now, all right, you know, the, the new proper artists coming in, and, and this is my view. And a lot of people have the same kind of view because as a female in the business, a champion in the business, and one of the queens of the journal, you have stayed relevant for a very long time without have to go to the extra mile of talking about cussing expletives, yeah. talking about sex in a way that it is like daylight, painting the yeah. picture like it's a movie in front of you. you can right, see right, easily. right, right. You have, you have escaped going down that street, down that, that slippery slope, Right. Told, and, and keep your, your the dance hall career and a lady yeah. like your name suggests keep it on a level that people can say all right we can listen to our songs yeah. without hiding our songs when our kids coming around and stuff like right, that right, right. and 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 what you think about about the lyric the lyrical content of the music these days of why the female them have to try go off that deep end and go more and more slack or lewd music yeah well honestly there is a crowd for that, but um, is what you give to the people is what the people um, gravitate to uh, receive right now. Yeah. And it can show within the generation that coming up listening to those type of music. You notice the behavior and everything. So we, so I would ask them really and truly, I mean, as I said, there is a time and place for them kind of music there, but when, you, when you're going to record something, just put something out there where it can live forever and somebody can learn something from it. I mean, you can sing about love in a beautiful way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where everybody can accept it, everybody can gravitate to it because, I mean, at some point in your life, you must experience love. love. You know yeah. what I mean? Even a murderer or a kill people, there's a girl must dead away in love to him heart and soul. She alone probably can't talk to him. You understand? Yeah. So, I mean, I believe in singing positive music because, I mean, when I go out in the world, when I go out in the world, like, you know, in Europe and in places to perform, I mean, those people who, who really, like, come to the show, it's like, that, that is why, like, uh, a big you can still tour. You know what I mean? In a Europe. All the time. A Morgan Heritage can still tour. A Barrington Levy can still tour. Always touring. Always. Because they sing good music. Nothing derogatory. And them still I sing about love same way. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... I don't really go for the explicit thing. I don't, uh, uh, and I might think that, and I might think that. And, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these um, female artists are here, they're singing. I know that them have talent, but they're trying to go to the, e go to the easy, easy route, but it only lasts for a, a little short space of time. Do some music that is going to last for years and years to come. When you listen to singer like Marcia Griffiths and, you know, look at Marcia Griffiths. So look how long this woman been touring all over the place. The queen, she man. The she can't perform. She can't perform, uh, perform to the smallest the queen. crowd the and queen. to the whole of crowd. I, I love Marcia Griffiths. Those I are the Marcia people Griffiths. that I looked up to when I was growing up. So I tried to follow in their footsteps because I saw the good work that they were doing and the the music that make me feel good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I can't, I can't listen to some of the music when I feel like, say, actually like somebody raped me. <laughs> when I <think laughs> to it. No, no disrespect. It's, it's the truth. You know what I mean? Yeah, my mom, I hear some music. When you listen to her, when you listen to her, some Dennis Brown, 
You give us some feeling, make you feel like, yeah, you want to go into your bed right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's something you want to feel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, and, and it can't play anywhere. You know what yeah. I mean? And I feel like try to wonder if you, you know, you look up in a, a year it and then everybody can listen to it. And those are the type of music I'm I'm pleading to my female artists, them are the kind of music I want to me feel like sing. Yeah, look on coffee. When Mr. Coffee come out, coffee remind me so much of myself when I was coming up in the music business. Lyrically, and you have to go go underneath yeah. and self sell yourself short to get that, you know, attention. Just look at may I ask every female, every female, just look at coffee. Look. Look at Kaffi. She get the Grammy. Tell me now. Tell me now. <laughs> eh? She had to do something good. That is why. All right. Look at it this way. Do you think the reason why, two questions, do you think the reason why as the females go this route is because they feel like the, the male counterpart is going so hard down that road and they feel like they need to match up with the, with the male counterpart by doing these lewd and slack songs? Listen to me. A man can, a man, a, a, a woman can do what a man do and still be a lady. It's not going to work. And just be yourself. Just be yourself. Just be true to yourself. You know, not because you might see a certain artist come and re 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 and blah 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 and get rich or whatever and you'll think your yeah, man follow the party. No, but just be true to yourself. You know? Yeah, man. And sing the song that you would love to say, you know, if 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 one day when you become a mother, you can watch your daughter, you know, or your son I dance to it and you don't have to feel bad and you don't have to say, Lord Jesus, you're on me this so many times. No, sir. I mean, eh -eh. Don't do nothing where you're going to regret in the long run. You know? A good example of this, what you're talking about, like, Lady Sa is one of the greatest dancehall artists and female dancers. For real, artists. no doubt. And we yes. love her without a doubt. Yes, but at yes. this point in time, you won't get her to sing back any of our dancehall hits. None of our sound them. And she regretted. it. She, she said she's not going to sing any of them. She did an interesting... She re she yeah, people she say, come sing it and she make money and she says she doesn't care about the money. She don't care. She's not she regret it. it. She talk about it. She regret it. She not but because songs. of survival, she did it. So don't be the next female artist to say the same thing to. You know what I mean? Just sing some songs. Sing some positive songs. Positive music. You know what I mean? Next, next thing. Do you feel like... Because I... At this present moment, I was saying mm. to someone because I see it happening again. Yeah, I was watching several female artists that I know in the business. I watch mm -hmm. them doing them can sing and DJ, they do sing yeah. G, and yeah. I watch them doing some good songs. Yeah, and then I said to someone, Look, they are right at the edge of the cliff and they are yeah. about to jump off any moment now because the song, <laughs> textures of the song, the lyrical content, the tone yeah. of the songs, yeah. are changing from what it once was. Yeah. And I feel like one of the main reasons why the female yeah. artists do this, mm -hmm. and males doing it too, not just yeah. females, yeah. but they feel like they're not getting the justice with these songs. The DJs are not playing them. The selectors yeah. are not playing them. Mm -hmm. So because of that now, they're just like, yo, I can't do this anymore. I'm going to show people some of talent. I sing. I yeah. sing, sing some nice song. No, I'm sing some nice song. Sing yeah. some nice song and then something. And, and the DJ them and now play now. me. I go yeah. and dance and nobody now play me. <laughs> me. I turn on my radio. Me yeah. the song I play. So yeah. right now, I realize it, it reached a point where, yo, I can't do it. I have my bills to pay and I have that for the right now. So I yeah. can't, but I have to sing yeah. them song. I have to sing some song where the people might go right here too. Do yeah. you think that is one of the major factors why females and males and the whole industry overall straight away from the type of songs that they really want to do? Yes, I think so. That's why I said, just be true to yourself. Do music, do, do, make it come from here, so yeah. Because I have so many examples, so many examples of other artists I can tell you about. I mean, even I remember the first time I hear Earth Around Red with um, Richie Spice. Richie Spice, yeah. I was at the studio, and and is you know, Spanner Banner was the person who produced that song, and uh, 
I hear the song, and I say, wow, that song sounds good. Yeah. I mean, never hear the song for one day, one and two time eight on the radio, but I never hear yeah. the song for a long, long while after, after work. And then, boom out of the blues. Me hear the song start play and play hard. And... So sometimes you just have to believe in yourself and just humble because if what you're doing, you're true to it, and you believe yeah. in what you're doing, your day will come. Your day will come. Yeah, man. So not because... Yeah. <laughs> not go because... Ahead, not because... All right. If you're hungry, you can't pay your bill, right? I you sit time out there, so I rob the bank and rate it and blah, blah, blah. You're going to follow time and rob the bank? Mm -hmm. You're not going to follow time and rob Because you know, so I guess there's only two things that are up to time. Is it a jailhouse or a dead house? Don't yeah. it? Yeah. So, you have to true to yourself, true to what you're doing. Believe in what you're doing. Yeah. I believe in that. And, and trust me, and if you're really persistent and believe in what you're doing, trust me, and you're there, you sing a song, say, me one day, you trust me from, you don't even, sometimes, me always tell people, say, it's the music, music is like, magic is like, because, Enough time, enough time, cool face today in a studio. Yeah, man, I sing a lot song, everybody. Yo, that one, you got that one, and that one. And you know, up my one, one little song, and little man does humble himself. He got all hungry, and not even eat that thing here. And sing out in belly. Yeah. And it come feed him. And it come from here. Yeah. It come from here, so. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, well, I think you are one of the best. You are you are one of the best person to give out advice, which is concerned because as a people trying to give out advice, but they are not practicing what they are preaching. Yeah, yeah. So as a person in the business that I've gone through and seen a rise and fall of other different dancehall artists, so the dancehall come and say, "Oh, we're the baddest artist," and yeah. you watch them go away, and you see them back again, and say, mm. "You nobody know no better than me," and you watch them go away, and you still there, you go and ride and whistle and take a time cruise. See. <laughs> Dean, and still I do your thing. So you are one of the best persons. You are in that seat that you can give advice. And I feel like this generation, yeah, from two so across the table, across the table, male and female can listen from your advice and really take into consideration what you're saying and know that you really yeah, understand man. what is going on. Um, you have kids. You have, how, many, how many kids do you have? Three. Really? Kids are, and they're in music. Well, I mean, they love music, but I, I'm just giving them them me, 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 them do whatever they want to do. I'm not really force them into it, but they are talented kids. I can tell you that. Yeah. So, so they are musically inclined. Yes, yes, yes. And any of them thinking about pursuing music so far, or are they just doubling? Yes, my daughter, my daughter, the eldest one. Yeah, yeah. So she will write, sing? Both. Both. She sing, yeah. Nice. I'm right, so yeah. But, mm. you know. You know, sometimes mm. I say, want to, want to, can't get to, can't get to, get to, you know, want to. No, that's my to. kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's my kids. Yeah, man. But, you know, but we have been due time, you know. So who play instrument? Yeah. Who's the person that plays the instrument? Well, the youngest one. She can play keyboard. Yeah. Okay. No, sure. no, my sister had trouble with the violin. I tell her, no matter with the violin thing. <laughs> the violin is a, is a, is a very, is a very, is, is, a, is a classical instrument. Yes, it is. It, it, it is, yes. That is one instrument they play, that they play when you feel. You have to have like a good yeah. feel for it. You yeah, have man. to feel the music you play it. So that's yeah, not man. a bad instrument to have still. Yeah, yeah. And if you play a violin, you can play all the string instruments. You can probably play a um, uh, a cello, a upright bass, I can play whatever, right, right. like a whole bunch of different instruments. Yeah, man. All right, so it run the, the good genes run the family. All right, somebody, somebody was talking to me earlier about. Yeah. I was saying, yo. I was messaging some of my friends, and I said, um, Lady Gino. I said, yo, normally when I'm doing a, a reasoning man, the strips. Mm -hmm. After the times information and stories I know off the top on the top of my head. Yeah. And at the same time I still go and do some background check as a look if I see anything 
in mm-hmm. interviews or anything with you. And then I do what I call the road amount research. I yeah. message a couple of my friends. I say, yo, I know you know Lady G long time. Yo, tell us some stories and whatever, whatever, whatever. So try pick them brain and see what you want to stories mm-hmm. them. So mm-hmm. I've saved and saved and saved to see if we can find some stories to give some trouble. Yeah. But <laughs> before I get to that trouble, mm-hmm. I want to ask, because this is, I realize that I get some weird reaction when I ask this question. Yeah. Name, name one of the weirdest or funniest thing ever happened to you while on tour or on a stage show. Hmm. You gotta call it weird. It doesn't have to be weird. It's just something that you didn't expect. It's just a big shock. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I've heard some stories. I've heard some different stories. I don't know. Well, what I remember the first time I really got to honestly, like every time I know the MC of a car, I may end up in another bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it has always seemed at that particular time I choose to go to the bathroom for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so I was asking the all female tour. The all female. You did the all female tour? Oh, um, with myself and Marcia Griffiths. Yeah, Marcia Griffiths. I was a female, female band. It was a great experience. Great, great experience. Because, you know, it was, for me, it was the first time for me um, touring in Europe. And to tour with, you know, such a person, Marcia Griffith, it was, trust me, really, really an experience. Because, ah, this is one experience. So I, honestly, I used to notice, I'm like, I'm much younger than Marcia Griffith. And night, back at night, night, Marcia up there singing how much songs. I still stay strong and I do our thing and I'm like, I mean feel like me want to drop down. <laughs> I remember I was in Rome and honestly I was on stage and I was there performing. And you ever hear somebody say them feel like a fish out of water? <laughs> so me feel cause like my throat dry. I'm a little like honestly, it's like if me just Get a little tip of water, trust me. That's what I get for me. Because I'm on the stage, I'm here singing, I'm here singing, I'm here looking. For, for, for my brother, Pancho, for coming with the Pancho, mother, yeah, we know Pancho, yeah. Me. Himself a big up to you, know, himself a heel up to. Big up I Pancho, man. Yeah. And couldn't see Pancho, I tell him, man. Yeah, that was a, yeah, experience. I've learned a lot with Marcia going on tour. Marcia, it's, yeah, man. For real. So you're you're actually tour with the Queen <laughs> herself, cause as I said, yeah, man. Queen of Reggae, Queen of Rocksteady. I am. I, re- I remember I went to, cause you know at that time, I mean, few people know about Lady G, but they more know about my sacrifice. And yeah. so most of the the venues that I went to was more like the the audience was like a a Master Griffiths fans audience. You know yeah. what I mean? And and for me to go there and perform for the for that t- type of audience, it was like a great privilege for me. And I remember at one of the shows I went on stage and perform, perform, sing all of my song, them blah blah blah, whatever song I have for the night for singing. And you know the people that were like <laughs> after every song, I'm like, you know, man, my ear, them people are boring, you man. <laughs> <clears throat> Little did I know, I was creating some new fans. And after I sing the last song, I walk up, said, "Listen to 